It started when I was 20 years old, when it started. Because I was trying to cover up the pain and suffering from what I had saw in my family. My earliest recollection of my, of my father was him punching my mother and knocking her under a table when I was five years old. I remember seeing that. And, um, and then later on, I was molested. When I told my father and mother about it, my um, father took his side. And that just destroyed me as a child because the guy who was supposed to protect me didn't protect me. So when I found drugs, what happened was it covered up the pain and suffering. But you never start drug, drugs thinking you're going to get addicted. It's not something that happens. Dana Plato sort of introduced you yeah, to drugs, right? Yeah, she introduced right? me to pot. And, um, you know, I tried it a few times, but I still can't blame her. I have to accept responsibility what I did. I, I could have said no. And but I that didn't. escalated that to harder escalated drugs. That escalated later on. And they do say, like, marijuana does lead to harder drugs. It does. Um, and um, later on, it led to cocaine, which led to crack cocaine, which led to meth. And um, it led just to a child who was suffering inside. When and how did you decide to, to turn your life around, that this was uh, really a path to, to nowhere well, good? Well, February 23rd, 1993. I went to rehab that day. Um, I got angry, really upset. They strapped me in four points and put a diaper on me. And I realized that something had to change. I, um, I love my life today. My life is just totally amazing, you know? I'm, 20 years sober, I have two beautiful children, you know, um, and I go around the country speaking to people about anti-drugs. I still work as an actor. Why do you think you're able to, to break through to these kids who are really on the verge of making these decisions about which way they're gonna go? I think it was most of I, I, I can identify with most of them, and most of them identify with me. And it just so happens that I'm on one of, one of the shows that they recognize, which is uh, uh, Everybody Hates Chris, I'm on that show too. So most of the children recognize me from that, so when I'm talking to them, and then I start getting into what I'm talking about, they realize they know what I'm talking about.